Sorry I'm late everyone, I had a work meeting, went long.
starting in just a couple of minutes. Ah. No, I'm wearing a polo now. No suit this time, because I want to get more comfortable for Christmas. Y'all, aren't these fucking jams? Y'all need to be subscribed. No, I'm Southern now. Y'all need to be subscribing to Chip Tunes on YouTube. We got Feast or Famine boss music coming up. Please. All right. Here we go. Hello, welcome, Hope Soap. Giving flashbacks to the Gary You know what? Maybe we'll do. Maybe. Oh. Maybe we'll do a Gary Goldstein dating sim as well this week. Feast or Famine is a badass chiptune song. Hello, everyone. I've got great news. I've fixed the green screen issue. You! You! Stop it! Stop it! Yes, I fixed the green screen issue. It's not a problem anymore. Um, apparently, I just needed to set it automatically to green screen instead of fucking doing a color key. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to talk about Black Friday, the musical where nobody got sick, the cast was in perfect health the entire time, um incredible uh things were happening there were no problems and uh it went without it went off without a hitch do i have my wiggly with me i don't know what do you think wait i don't know what do you think sorry i don't know what do you think there we go yeah um Wiggly will disappear like a fucking monster from hell when I switch into the green screen effect, which is going to happen in just a moment. But before we get started, let's talk about Black Friday. I got a call at the end of, uh, in the middle of, I didn't get a call. I was just told in person in the middle of, uh, in the early 2019 to be like, hey, we're doing another Hatchetfield show and it's, and it's, it's called Black Friday, would you like to audition for it? And I said, yes, I did audition for it. I, uh, I, I kind of had an idea who I was going to be playing when I got the, like, Gary Goldstein sides. That was pretty much like, oh, so I'm probably going to be playing Gary Goldstein. Um, and then I, <laughs> he, uh, I went into auditions, I went into rehearsals, and I did. I did audition. I have my auditions somewhere. I could show you. I auditioned for Tom. I auditioned for Ethan. And I auditioned for, um, um, Wiley. I actually, if I had to pick any other, uh, any other part in Black Friday, I would have auditioned for, for Wiley. Um, Uncle Wiley, I was like, I would love to play Uncle Wiley. 
However, Joey does a fucking incredible job as Uncle Wiley, so I couldn't imagine anyone else playing Uncle Wiley. Um, but uh, but yeah, and though he, but yeah, I got the I, I I think I wanted Wiggly, Wiggly and Gary Goldstein just because I thought it'd be fun to play an evil force after the guy didn't like musicals, and uh, that would be like a really great challenge vocally. Um, and luckily Nick made it really fun for me and, um, Nick was able to like help me figure out the voice. And so, uh, yeah, I was really excited. Anyway, we're already starting late. I apologize. I had a work meeting that went, went late and, but we're going to go get, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started now. Any questions? Good. Do -do 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 -do. By the way, I signed up for YouTube premium just so that we could do this. Okay, here we go. And... No problems. Yay! Look, no problems. I'm going forward. I'm going backward. I'm right here. No, pr except for the last slight lighting changes. Is everybody ready? I know Wiggly's ready. <laughs> what a cutie. Uh, okay. So Wiggly and I are ready. Um, here we go. and girls, hop aboard the SS Wiggle, we're setting sail for Giggles! Come on, Sniggles! Hey everybody, we're the Sniggles, don't be scared. He's a Wiggly Snig and a Sniggly Wiggly, yeah. a friendly wind that makes you giggly. He's an underwater creature from out of this world. I was singing backstage very intensely at this point. God, this opening is so fuck it's so insane. Then I was crouched in the corner going. I love you. This was an insane show to do live. Well, he's deep down in Drowsy Town, sleeping in the dreamless sleep. Oh, yeah, there's double of captions. Sorry about that. How are we gonna wake him up, Uncle Wiley? Well, you'll just have to pick up your own Wiggly this Black Friday! Yeah! Come on, here's time. Gather around. There's an underwater creature that's fixed it. He's a friendly wind. Wiggly wiggles with you. Rub his belly well, bouncing up and down. Tell him that you love how he wiggles with you. He's all that you wanted. He's all that you needed. This was actually, this was a, an exhausting and fun show to do, but it was exhausting. Now you got a reason for when it was absolutely exhausting. You brush his hair with a comb. His body's made out of foam. That's Certified laundry safe. When Wiggly takes over your heart and your soul, a girl boy, the, the world, world will be a playground full of magic and sing a song. And when you're feeling down, he's there to sing along. Uh, where was I when I was speaking as Wiggly? But I was backstage. I was just backstage, and they were timing timing my mic with like the lines and added uh, reverb to it. Steal it only. It was. People were surprised that it was live and not recorded. This game was a cardio nightmare. <laughs> Look at Angela. Oh my god. It's Black Friday at Hatchet Field's Lakeside Mall. Let's sail so huge you'll lose your mind. Doors open at 7. This was recorded. Lose your mind. 
This part was recorded. This wasn't mine. I guess my lines could have been recorded. It would have been easy. Um, the weekly voice was a little tough to maintain. Um, I think, like, we decided it was kind of a mix between Chucky and the Joker and, uh, Great. How many times are they gonna play that act? I don't know. Emma, you know how I feel about that musical commercial. I know you don't. Look how like hard it. I said, uh -huh. Emma. This is and this is you who why. you are. Well, I don't care. It's these advertising firms with their catchy jingles that worm their way into your brain, brewing up the hype till it. Bo real pause, real quick. I remember when we were doing the show. There was one night where like. Paul and Emma, Paul, people were fucking jazzed to see Paul and Emma. So much so that, like, we couldn't get our, at the, at, at, in one of the shows, we couldn't get our lines out. People, were, Paul and Emma, people were like, ah! <laughs> anyway. Boils over. It's things like Wiggly that make Black Friday the worst <laughs> shopping day of the year. Relax, it's just a toy. Cabbage Patch Kids were just toys, and there were riots over those things. Literally, riots. <laughs> Why? God, what even is a I adore patch all of kid? you. It's like you're cutting into a head of lettuce and oh shit, a baby. It's like <laughs> I wanted a salad, but now I have a child. Like, Emma had a really tough appeal? role in the show. What's the appeal of Tamagotchis or Beanie Babies or I mean Lauren. Wiggly? Lauren had a it's tough just role mania, in the show. Emma. Sorry. Like a spell. Well, we're here, so you can get off Lauren your soapbox. Lauren had a ton of quick changes. And none of that talk around There were him. so many okay, fucking quick nine. changes in the show. He probably wants a wiggly more than anything. And if we upset his son, Tom will never invite us over again. Your brother-in-law's a bit of a Scrooge, isn't he? Yeah, well, also, the car crash was last Christmas. Did such an amazing Paul, job. guy lost his wife. I mean, he Wait, is what? an asshole. Wait, what? I'm still asshole, harboring but... You're still mad about He's the seatbelt? Maybe Jim I wasn't married, wearing my seatbelt. And he and Tim are the only family I have left. Yeah, that is weird. I should have had the seatbelt on. Them. I'm done I think fucking I clicked things the up. Didn't I just I click need this click, to click. work, okay? Oh, yeah. It will. He invited you over. He wants you to be a part of his life. Paul would have worn a seatbelt. So cheer up. It's Christmas time in Hatchet Field. Isn't that fun? Hey, everything's going to be okay. Okay? I should have got my hair cut okay. before this recording. Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're late. It's 6.30 in the oh. morning. Yeah, and I said six. Dylan is one of the nicest fucking people you will ever meet. Uh-huh. When I moved to L.A. <clears throat> hey, Tim. Hi, I'm Emma. Well, after we did Black Friday, yesterday, like, but I heard pandemic, you and your dad did something pretty cool. Dylan was pizza like, hey, pizza? hey, John, what are you doing? You want to go pizza? for a hike? That is cool. Dylan and I went on several hikes, <laughs> and I swear I'm Paul. to God. Uh, I'm Emma's... Boyfriend. He's one of the well, nicest people I've ever met. We haven't put a label met. on it yet. He's one of the most genuine and sincere But we are in... Sorry, I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll. <laughs> I, uh, you know, Pete, Tom, Tim, um, we, Pete, uh, Tom, Tim. I used to go to Pizza Pete's when I was a kid. Uh, I used to love the ball pits, the bumper cars. Yeah, I don't really like getting hit by cars anymore. <laughs> oh. Right, yeah, because... Oh, no, the, the Pete, Tom, Tim uh, was improvised. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Pete Tom Tim was uh was improvised as well. Hell yeah, improv, John Madison. If you want your show peppered with improv moments that you didn't ask for, hire me, John Madison. Improv. Okay. Pretty not 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 like a king, but like I'm okay. Uh, well, I mean that stuff's for little kids, you know. No, Pete Pizza Tom Pete's is all Tim. about the games, right? I think I. Yeah. Mom and I used to play zombies. Quick, I'm not here to criticize myself. I'm here to celebrate the show and tell people about Star Kid Returns. But just watching this, when doing something like a bit like Pete Tom Tim that requires like some mental changes, I think what I should have done is lean into Pete. You know, Pete, Tom, Tim. Like, there's like a you do you're trying you're almost doing like a internal triple take. So that's what I I think I didn't I wasn't in the moment. But it's a good, it's a good moment. Zombie house, but dad can't because he's not supposed to hold a gun. Not, not even a fake one. 
he gets flashbacks. Also, this is a long show. What are you show? telling them? I do not get flashbacks. I remember bad things vividly. <laughs> uh, Tom did two tours in Iraq. Oh, thank you for your service. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> I could have played the damn zombie game, but I was you did. over at the ski ball machine trying to win tickets to help you get that RC car you, did. you want. You did it for I America, didn't you? And have am I fun. not a part ski of America? Fun. Ski ball sucks. Well, hey, we're gonna have fun today. What did you do it for? Huh? We brought DVDs, games, we got leftovers, everything you need for a belated turkey day. All right, you guys are gonna have a good time. Hopefully, you only have to watch Tim for a few hours. Oh, uh, when you called, I thought that we. Oh, I see. This is not a family Thanksgiving thing. I am babysitting. Ah, Grace is out of town. I couldn't Where's find Whitney? another oh, sitter. Oh, they took off the tags. I wouldn't have texted you guys unless I had any other option. I'm sorry. I'll try to be this quick. This was definitely not so get made the hell in America. Out of here. Okay. That's another <laughs> criticism. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the sweater was a little itchy. Okay. But it was nice. Dad? I thought we were all going to be here together. Well, I have to go somewhere important. Okay. Where? For your information, I need a new blade for my bandsaw. Yeah, that's real important. Hey, Tim, 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 wow. Kendall, Tim. Great priorities, Tom. First the tools, then the kid. I didn't say that. Well, what are you going to do for his birthday? Leave him at home and take the drill press to Six Flags? Nice. I don't have a drill press. And even if I did, how would it fit into the sedan? Yeah, he said it. He I said had it. to say something because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, he said it. I'm going to the mall to get Tim's Christmas present, okay? It's this new doll everybody's been talking about. This little uh, monster that you I think it is a nod. Oh, my God. Tom, you're getting Tim a Tickle Me Wiggly? Shh. Yeah. He's going to flip. You must have pre-ordered that thing like six months ago. Ah, Toy Zone doesn't do pre-orders. Dylan is good first in this. Come, first because serve, Dylan's so. an incredible actor. Oh, uh... Do you have someone holding your place in line? What do you mean line? It's 6.30. I'm going to get there 10 minutes before the, the doors even open. Uh, and the Tom, I, I know you've been kind of shut in for a while, so you might not really grasp the demand for this doll. Right My buddy Bill tried to get one online. The orders are so backed up, the earliest he can get one is next Christmas. Not this Christmas, next Christmas. Maybe. Yeah, you should have been in line last night. You should have been in line last week. Are you guys pulling my chain? Tom, at this point, I, I wouldn't even bother going down there. God damn it. Jane would have had all this worked out. You could get him like a Nintendo. He doesn't want that. He wants this doll. Is that too much to ask for? I'll take last a Nintendo. Christmas, this kid lost no more offense. than any kid deserves. You want to know what he was doing this time last year? He was sledding with his mother. Sun Beetle, hello. Now he's... You know, I would he take a classic that one Nintendo. one fucking thing that he asked for. So I'm not coming back into this house without one of those dolls Think in my hand. Think about the implications. Because I will be goddamn if he does oh not God. have a merry fucking Christmas. And a happy new year! There it is. Somber piano music. What Tim wants. Because it's a magic cursed get. doll that everybody wants. Anything that he wants, he can Oh, wanted it. it? Probably for, for Alice. Even now it's a dream. I love the song. The kind that makes Eleanor, hello. Question reality. I love Dylan's voice. The fact you don't wake up is no accident, it seems to me. Someone's got to pay for it. He used to like cars. Tonka trucks and ships that could show you the stars. I couldn't hold him still to teach him What are you willing to share about the Jeff Tom show? Oh no. Uh, just Jeff wasn't having Jeff it. fucking came in because everybody was sick. Jeff came in and did... All of and his parts bang, and all of Dylan's Jane. parts. And he had flash one bang. day to prepare. Nothing's the same. I think he had that day to what prepare Tim when he woke wants, up that Tim morning. Will get Maybe the night before. Anything that he wants, he can have it. All I need is some time. All I, I need is well. a break from the madness after all. You're my son. It was fucking intense. 
I mean, we all supported him and, like, made sure and helped him a little bit, like... It's just less free and, and that felt... Catch him and that felt... Um, it was so intense. There's a God, my God, can you see what you've made? When you're watching the show, imagine my God. all of Jeff's parts, and what I but Jeff away. did all of that and all of on Dylan's parts in one, in one night. He, he had one day to prepare. Over and over again till it gives up the fight. Anyway, I need but to there's no shut the fuck end, up. There's no end, there's no end in look at Jeff, look at Dylan right now. Look at his and eyes, look, look how he's... Do like, I he ever leaves every moment, moment. Flash, he's seeing everything. Bang, Dylan's a fan, fantastic fucking actor. Flash, bang. What have I done? What my son wants, my son will get. Anything that he wants, he will have it. There's nothing I can't fix. If he wants that toy, by God, I will take it. Because all I know, all I know. I don't say it enough. I'm scared you blame me for mom. I'm scared you blame me for your luck. But there's no end, there's no end, there's no end to how much. So good. I love. The lighting in the show is fantastic. The set, the set is fantastic. You'll get what you want, you'll get it back. I give up both of my arms to get you on track. I will say, All I need is a smile. Jeff was a Just little give your um, dad a disappointed by the Yes, all I need is to get you walking towards the paradise the you dream. So if you like the show, please buy the album. And you're my Please. son. Because it's fantastic. And our lives have just begun. I don't. You know, I don't know why I was so hard on myself at the in, during Inevitable. Excuse me. Because, Miss, you think it's okay for Dylan me to park just here? Want to uh, yeah, it says no parking at any time, but I'm sure the loading trucks could just park across the street. Does anyway. that work for you? Yeah, that's perfect. Lex. Lex. Hey, Mr. Houston. How'd you, you get doing? The, how'd you what get into my you house? I'm doing. I'm having a bud before my shift. Hey, does your mother know you smoke? Uh, yeah, she lets it. You got an ad? Oh. Hip to be scared? Weed. I'm sorry. Lex, I thought you were done with all that. I'm hip After to you be were back scared. In school, you were on top of your classes. I was hardly valedictorian. Oh, you're doing all right in my class. Yeah, shop class where you get an A if you don't chop off your finger. No, if you show up and you put in the effort, I'm not going to hold a little accident like that against you. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, shop class was the only thing holding up my GPA. So when they canceled shop class because a teacher had a wouldn't it be crazy if you got an ad for this and it was me. like a Black so I Friday to ad? I follow the example of my favorite teacher and never come back. How does it feel to be a role model? Lex, it's not a very fair thing to say. What's it matter? Tickle, tickle, tickle! School's I'm tickling the boy. To carry you for the workplace, uh, and I have a job. Or is stock Kira? Or toy zone. Oh my God! Thank my you so much. Potential. Toy zone. Yeah, toy what? Zone. You have a problem with retail? No. No, no, no. I, th I think Toy Zone's a great place for you to work. In fact, I'm proud of you, Lex. Toy Zone. I always thought you had a great work ethic. Hey, don't forget, yeah, well, everybody, you're time traveling right now. You in the chat, you can talk to the people who are watching this later yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, that's funny. Listen, Lex, I'm actually here to get a Christmas present for my son. It's a Tickle Me Wiggly. Oh. I didn't realize so many people were trying to do the same thing. So do you, do you think, there's, uh, think there's anything you could do? Oh, uh. You mean like put one aside for you? Yeah. Yeah, like put your name on it, put it under the counter, just screw over hundreds of people that got here before you? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Well, you know, I could, but that would be violating company policy, and everyone's telling me to be more responsible lately, so I'm going to go with them on this one. Oh, but hey, I got an idea. You can get in line like everybody else, and I'd hurry up if I were you. The line's already backed up to Nordstrom. Oh. Uh, Nordstrom's? Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, on a Nordstrom. Ah, oh, shit. My mom, my wait, mom wait, used to take me and my sister there? to Let Nordstrom's for dinner. It. Anybody right. ever been to Nordstrom's Merry Cafe? Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Lex. Hark, the herald's angels sing glory to a new Oh, shit. A furry little monster that's gonna make me a pile of... Cash. Oh, Corey. 
Corey's really good at right, this, Right, you are good, buddy. Everybody's really uh, good Now, I just need your John Hancock here on the dotted line. Uh, with pleasure. So that's them, huh? Yep. Our own little miracle on 34th Street. Tell me, Lex, do you know why they call it Black Friday? <laughs> Uh, because it yeah, comes after because Angela's an amazing actor. <laughs> Cute. And fucking hilarious. They call it Black Friday because it's the day in America when most retailers go from being in the red, losing money, to being in the black, making money. <laughs> well, friendo, I have a feeling that these little yes, babies Sun are going to take you so far into the black that you ain't never coming back. Hey, look! Star Kid exists in this universe. <laughs> See? Buy our pins. <laughs> oh, I sure hope so. So oh, that you are gonna make a killing. <laughs> in the world that of Hatchetfield, there Wiley are Star Kid fans. <laughs> right? Whoa, if they whoa. sell those pins. Hello, naughty list. <laughs> Completely inappropriate. Um... Uh, uh, excuse me, Alexandra. I don't mean to How about Jeff you playing Dylan's parts? But you How did that work out? Some I think out of you on this, the most important shift of your life. On I think this, we just cut Man in a Hurry. The holiest day in America for And we gave Man in a Hurry's lines to me. I Nation. I think I took Man in a Hurry's lines. Do I get time and a half? You know, you got a real attitude problem. I think it was Kurt who ran forward. Customers. You're no good boyfriends you know, Kurt always around. You think a dropout with a record would be thankful to have a job? You want to end up like your mother? No prospects and two kids she can't take care of? She dropped your sister on her head or whatever, but you, look at Joey. what Joey, that's right. Thank you, Jake. She's done with you. Look, Frank, do you want me to unload these or what? That would be nice if our hot ticket item could be on the shelves when we open. Fine. Thank you. Uh, Alexander, Sophie, yes, something I have. Something a I love Smosh. Woman might respond with. Thank you. No, 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 no. Especially if Alexander, anyone from Smosh is watching. I know this watching. is hard for you, but try to keep up. I say thank you, so <laughs> you should say. You're welcome. <gasps> See? She can be taught. <laughs> Hark, the herald angels sing glory to a newborn king. Peace on earth and lots of money. Money, 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 just for me. Wait, was I the one that stabbed Tom? I don't think so. We'll see Gary Goldstein is scared by day. Tom. Oh, hey, look, it's we'll a part I'm in. <gasps> look, this filmed part. Hi, Wiggly. I'm Lex. So you're what all the fuss is about. Tickle my belly button. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> that tickles. I think we're going to be very good friends. Oh, that was the thing I added. That was I my request. I think so too, Wiggly. I think you're going to help me out so a lot Nick more than So Nick wanted me to know. do a voice that was like kind of like Chucky and kind of like the Joker. And I asked if I could have like, if he could have sort of a guttural. Um, Call security, we got a shoplifter. Drop that some doll. some of the words could go Jesus into like a guttural Christ, place. Jesus Christ, you fucking So that's asshole. what I asked. Um, hey. So like, so when he, so like, so, that's why some uh, words fall into this sort of like, oh no, almost like a deep Hannah, frog. Is that what you've been telling me every day yeah, for the past four like weeks to like pick up your kid's like sister? Oh, I must have forgot because I'm so stupid. She's right over here. But the I gotta warn you, she's being a little snot today. Hannah, ugh, come here. Do it I was just my the like the weekly voice was just my regular. Don't mic. pull her. And they just when it was time for me to. Hey, banana. When it's it was time for me to sing, or, or not day. sing, say my lines, I just went into a little well, place. And I don't know who they told you that reverb. because today is a good day. You know, my backpack, my the ones Kendall, with the pins on it. Look at all those pins. Well, today you get to wear it. No. <sighs> See what I mean? It's been this all day. Why don't you want to wear my backpack? That makes me Man, sad. Do you think I have a bad backpack? I wish backpack? I dressed like Ethan in high school. I'm not. I dressed like. To. Who says a lot you're not of buttons, Like I do now. Webby. Ethan's so cool. Oh, great. Now we gotta talk to the imaginary spider from outer space. What does Webby say? Bad blood. Cross. Black and white. 
Can you translate? I don't speak crazy. She's not crazy. She's creative. Kendall did such an amazing on, job Hannah, in this show. No. Like, Kendall, okay. number one, let me try. Let me try. <sighs> like, <clears throat> rolled with all of the changes. All right, banana split. Had to balance this and school and was like an incredible actress. And I see this a actor, an incredible singer. It was gifted and... to me by a great yeah. warrior. I hope Kendall is doing really, really, really well. Don't you fucking is, laugh. Cause... <laughs> yeah. She, she just. It's imbued with the power of. To be able to put like, to be able to deal with magic, all of the changes blood, and the, like the pressure of a star kid show, thing. and also to. Now I can lend you this hat to, just to, for like, today. Take all of that and on and on your do head. do so well. well you know, yeah. Nothing can harm you. And she's such a great musician as Honest. well. So. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Smelly alert. I'm just oh, hey, baby nays. <laughs> You're going to watch her till I get off at noon, and then we're out of this fucking town. Is everything good with I'd the I'd make buyer? a pretty good dad. I'm just Oh, saying. yeah, about that. Uh, there's been a little complication. Shit. So originally, we talked about five. Well, uh, word starts to get around, and before I know it, there is a bidding war for this thing. Oh, yeah, and, uh, you're right. He should have been... We got they should have, willing to if they should have had any recordings, they should have had recordings of Wiggly... 700 like, for going, a dog? He, 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 he. Like a thousand, no. like, little giggles every time 7, someone... 7,000. Uh, tickle them. Hey, Sutton! 7,000? <laughs> Seven you a fan of Sutton Foster? Like the name. thousand dollars? Where's that? Isn't Sutton Foster Where's a thoroughly that? modern Millie? Mill Mill Hannah, do you know what this means? California? Right? California! I love, I love Sutton Foster. My mom's a bitch! Well, I can say this. This alcoholic. is a mature stream. You clicked on it. I'm an alcoholic. We're saying bitch. That yeah, this is a fucking punk song. It's time bitch. To switch when the problem's chronic. Not being hyperbolic, but it's time to go. Fuck, fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. The sun shines down upon me. I know I'm righteous. A little babe. bit of Green Day vibes. In this time of crisis, babe. And when the sun shines down. Hey, look down in the corner of the screen. This stream is sponsored by. The future is crisis, babe. The past of virus, babe. Cause we're California. Wait, you do drag in Chicago? I used to watch a lot of drag in Chicago. Uh, do you ever do any shows in the Uptown Lounge? What's the point of wages? Wait, is that still around? You can't afford to smoke. Is that Uptown Underground? It's not a trope. I'll be an actress. Cause I've had practice. Selling hope. That's not how camera Have I ever seen you? Do I know you? Sun down upon us. We'll know we're righteous, babe. So you do shows at the annoyance? And when the sun shines down over Cali, we'll need a license. Cause love will drive us over Cali. For M.I.A. Hey, Stella. By subtraction, we're California. M I A. Dear Mom, it's been real, real bad. I'd say you did your best, but I'm not a liar. Oh, L I E R, babe. We get it, Ethan. You're a good speller. I'm taking Hannah as far oh, away cool. as we can get. I give you well, an thank address, you for being but here. I don't want to. Don't write, don't call, don't ask. Sincerely, Lex. P.S. I just followed you on Twitch, so I'm excited to see more of your stuff. Is broke as shit. Cause we're Cali for MIA. MIA. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Is going ah, to die. Yeah. Eleanor, good luck. Wait, what? You lived with me? Hannah! What the fuck? <gasps> Hannah! What the fuck 
is this? That better be fucking floss. Let's go, I need a cigarette. How did I not know that? I told you to wait in the car, Gerald. No, you know full well why you're not allowed inside. <gasps> oh, you're yes! Because you to step within a thousand feet Oh my feet God, of you look Cinnabon, incredible. Gerald. No, I don't believe you just want to smell them. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't even recognize oh you. Oh <laughs> my God, look at this line. No, Gerald, keep the car running. I don't want to come out there in 10 minutes to a cold car. We'll catch up more later. Excuse me, sir. What do scissors do? Huh? <laughs> Hello there. Linda Monroe, president of the Hatchetfield Boating Society. Or perhaps you know my husband, Dr. Monroe of Inner Beauty Rhinoplasty. I was wondering if you could just step on back and I could slide in front of you. <laughs> no, I've been waiting here all night. <laughs> and your time is precious, I'm sure. Which is why I'm willing to compensate you. Look, uh, ma'am, I can't just let you cut and cut. Oops, oh. something fell. Thank you, Mrs. Monroe. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. No, Gerald, you cannot run across Favorite the part of the show coming up. No, I don't care if River has to use the bathroom. He can hold it like a man. Excuse Wiggly is shedding what? all over the place. Oh, my Let's God. Let's Gerald, hold on. Becky Barnes is accosting me. Yes, call the police! Yes, you call the police! Do that, Linda, you can't just cut the line. Oh, oh no. Lauren does I such did an incredible not cut. job. I bought this spot fair and square. It's all right, lady. I let her in. Because she Quick paid Gary Goldstein you a sign. uh trivia. That's called a bribe, sir. I wanted and to try to the, the second time I came up, I tried to say the Gary Goldstein line. Did you ever line think about all the people behind you? As quickly as possible. The hard-working families have had faster than the previous show. For the every time. What if one of your neighbors so, who's been in line for hours that doesn't was, get so a dog by the final the show you took you can barely understand on, lady, what I was it's saying. One person, that's one less doll. Oh, oh no, no. One. Lots of No, I need four. Lots of vocal warm-ups. I have four boys. Kira, four thank you so much boys. for the bits and for stopping by and They're not please going get to some share good sleep. One like some junky children with a needle. <laughs> Linda do you really think your children are better than everyone else's? In so many words, yes! Oh, shut up. I hope you don't get a wiggly. I hope you fucking die. <laughs> what are I'm you doing here, anyway? With you. You don't even have children, thank God. For your information, I'm here for the patients of St. Damien's Pediatric Swing. Kids Whoa, Stir, thanks for subscribing. Christmas in a hospital bed. Ew. There's a little girl there, Bridget. She lost her eyesight in an accident, a horrible accident. Well, my children were accidents. You, you I also love Linda Monroe. You don't see me pushing my problems onto everybody else. You know what? If I were you, sir, I'd say, I don't need your money, Linda Monroe, and I'd tear that check right in half. No, no, no. I want, we don't she, he cheer. wants the money. Come on, everyone. Tear that check. Tear that check! Hey, if, uh, if he doesn't want it, I'll take the check. She can come in. No, 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 no. it's my check. <laughs> money, 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 See, money, 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 money. This money is Hatchetfield. Not go that rah, rah, school around. spirit, cheerleader bullshit that you never grew out of. That's why you stayed with Stanley, that monster husband of yours. Well, right up until the moment he got bored and ran off. Well, did you think your neighbors didn't notice you were wearing sunglasses on cloudy days? Turtlenecks? In the summer? Well, they knew what was happening. They just didn't care. And that's why you disgust me. Well, not because you're so naive. Because you're so weak. Stop crying, Gerald. I wasn't talking to you. Personal space. Personal space. Excuse me. Hey, Gary. Excuse me. Hey, excuse get him on me. Hey, sorry. Whoa, excuse whoa, me. Whoa, excuse me. Hey. Miss, miss, do you think I could get your spot in line? I got like 20 bucks. It's really important. It's for my kid. <gasps> Becky Barnes. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Becky Barnes. And Tom. They go way back in time. I think they dated in high school. Yup, she was cheering him from the sidelines. 
do they even recognize? So the idea with this song is that the line would be like this, and then it would shift. Oh my god. She embedded and then it would split up and then come back together. What was she saying? James did an incredible job choreographing this song. Hey, Tom Houston. And the next song. I mean, I'm Becky. Becky Houston. The next three songs. James had a really hard job. Look. Tom is seeing things. Holy ghost. It's called PTSD. Oh, forget about it. Has she PTSD'd her hubby? He ran off. She's not as hot as she used to be. But that look in her eyes is coming back. All those years they had fun. But they're both on the sales rack. They are spent. They are cooked. They are done. Wait, something's on his mind. Will he opine? Hold on, it's way too faithful for Tom. Or maybe for Beck. Or maybe for me. What do you say when you love you? Gotta hit those harmonies. What do you say when years have passed? What do you say when there's no more buffer? What do you say? What do you say? I forgot my harmony. It's cold out. I forgot oh, my part. Really? Our thing. Haven't seen it. Oh. oh my god, it's a train wreck! My favorite! Keeping my tub off popcorn. Just skip to the fucking. She never! <laughs> Either way, this is torture porn. I think I'll You almost cut the word torture porn. Well, you don't have half of a chance. But it didn't. Bitch. But it didn't. Uh... But I think either took a shower. Oh, oh my god, god someone flipped, flipped the switch. switch. There, she looked at his crotch. He looked at her boobs. They're walking a very fine line. Oops, I think we've been caught. Is she looking at mine? What do you say when you love each other? What do you say? The years have passed. What do you say when you rediscover? What do you say? What do you say? Look, Becky, you look great. Oh, thanks. What do you say? So do you. Thanks. So you shopping for your kids? Do you uh, no, I'm shopping for myself. I like dolls. <laughs> what do you say? I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't like dolls. At least not like that. My favorite Hatchetfield song. I missed you. Ooh. What did she say? I do look a lot like her. Um, my favorite Hatchetfield song. What did she say? The years have passed. Uh, sorry, Jamie's voice. Uh, I think my favorite Hatchetfield song might be Time Bastard or... It's supposed to look like a heart there, by the way. That one was hard. No, nothing. Actually, I have to think about that. That's really hard. Um, I think... Alright, people! I think some of the songs in Nightmare Time 2 are my favorites. The doors! They're opening the door. They're opening the door. They're opening the door. Please and the cue song. In an orderly fashion. Those here to pick up a tickle me wiggly. You can get those at the checkout counter, but remember, they are first come, first serve. So stay in. It line. is a little weird that Robert cut in line and he wasn't even bribed. Like, wouldn't Robert like go into the back of the line? I forgot why we did that. Welcome to Toy Zone. It's a world renowned, the palace for all of your underground. It's a pageant for the gallant. If I had one best friend, who would it be? Bill. Or Paul. I prefer the guide in like musicals with Black Friday. Only because it's shorter. And I think it was the first one I did. And I think the pacing in the guide in like musicals is perfect. It's brutality makes me question my morality. When I Hatchet Elf song? Oh, Hatchet Elf. Yeah, this is a really good one. Don't you want it? For us capitalists, we are honest. Corey does an amazing job. Traveling is part of the allure. Yes, our doors are open to you. Any day, but you chose today. It's no wonder. Here's your number. Know your place in line. I'll pay to move up. I never skim off the top. It's also advisable that we're not liable for anyone, anyone who dies. Glad we give you money. Oh, glad we take your money now. I want the dough with the Tommy. Oh, don't we all in here is high? 
Well, it was a quick change, is why it it's was. It's the very thing you want. The highest of holidays comes but once a year. I'm not talking about the black man and his reindeer. Have you, has, has anyone heard the musical The, the Scarlet day. Pimpernel? Which requires a bottle of pepper spray. There was one song that Jeff that Jeff wrote with the Scarlet Pimpernel as inspiration. You can escape, boy. Um, oh, you gave it away, Katie. Yes, it was Monsters and Men. He wrote Monsters and Men with Into the Fire as inspiration. Yes, our doors are open. Oh, our doors are open. Yes, our doors are open. Give us Feast your of Famine. Money. Give us your fucking cash. I think Feast and of Famine just money. had a little bit like Pirates of the Caribbean theme in it. I, 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 like to touch, touch, touch my mind. Did you know if you spend money, your kids will love you, maybe. They're slashing prices. It's insanity. Do we have any morality when the doors are open? I could hear my voice, and I did not go flat. Thank you very much for your generosity. Your donations are gladly accepted. I think I was Good nervous because I was standing behind Jeff Blim. Yeah. Because I was standing behind Jeff Blim, the guy who wrote the, yeah. the show, I was like, I gotta, gotta, I have to keep my palate oh. high, and I've gotta hit a those notes and don't go flat. Morning, that was sir. what I was thinking. Can I get you a tickly wiggly? And you know what? Yes. In fact, I would like. I wasn't. To call Wait, what? What did that guy just say? Excuse me, sir. Did my ears deceive me, or did you say you want to buy all of them? Yes. As in the entire stock of 850 Wigglies at $49.95 each? That's... $44,999, including sales tax. Would you like them gift-wrapped? No! No, 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 no! He can't buy all the dolls! Some of us have been waiting in line forever! Hey, what's going on up there? Well, I think somebody's trying to buy all the dolls. I better get one. Sorry, lady. Sometimes I think Gary come, wasn't even in line to buy a doll. Could I, I think Gary just phone? might have, like, oh, you he was there to meet new clients. Yourself, you disgusting little pervert. What's a grown man going to do with 850 dolls? Well, one will stay in the box for posterity. Yeah, he just wanted to be a part of something. will be used exactly. exclusively for bath time. This is unbelievable! Hey, lady! If you're gonna make with the hysterics, take it to Macy! How dare you! Are Here you I come. hearing this, Gerald? Yes, call my attorney! I will tickle one doll, and one doll will tickle me. <laughs> Listen, I've been waiting here all night, and I am not leaving here without a wiggly. And I'm in a hurry! <laughs> Hi, Gary Goldstein, attorney of law. I was a little further back in line. Gary, thank God. Are you that my client, Linda Monroe, suffers from a rare, little understood anxiety disorder, and any last <gasps> conditions which may arise from stress caused on these premises are your liability, sir? I hope you have your finances in order. Get ready for audits. Audits up your ears. Audits in your yin-yang. Audits at your wazoo. All right, what? all right, all right. Okay, another improv moment. Um, I switched out the up your yin-yang at your wazoo, I switched the the words, um, as because I because that was not in the script, but I, I I I switched the words out because I thought it would make people like li like who hear who are hearing it like wait what, <laughs> like I wanted people to stop and be like, wait, so that's I switched that as well. We're gonna try and be fair. We're gonna put a limit on how many. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then, and then whenever I, <laughs> and I didn't expect to get called by, um, by Jamie, um, and so I, uh, by Sherman, sorry. And so as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying, I would always say goodbye to Linda. And so, but, <laughs> but for the recording, I just went like, <laughs> and then I went back in line. Each customer can purchase. One per person. <laughs> you happy now? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. No. No. Of all the arbitrary numbers, why one? It should be a nice, even number that we can all yes, agree upon. 
<laughs> like four. Oh. Oh. Well, you can buy less if you want. I thought all sales were final. Look, you're not getting all the wigglies, you sicko. Well, Bye. now you'll be hearing from my attorney. I can't go stay jail. See, I was always, I was timed out. I always timed out, like, you sicko. Sicko, or... It was like, now, as soon as she said now, is why I would jump up. Also, look where I paused it. Isn't that great? Now you'll be hearing... I wanted to appear right as that line was finished. Per person. You happy now? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. No! Of all the arbitrary numbers, why one? It should be a nice, even number that we can all agree upon. Like four. Oh. Well, you can buy less if you want. I thought all sales were final. Look, you're not getting all the wigglies, you sicko. Well, now, now. you'll be hearing from my attorney. I can't go state law. Are you aware my client Sherman Young is being discriminated against? Shut up, Gary. Ooh, right in the subpoena. <laughs> Great. All right, forget this line. I'll give you $500 cash money for one wiggly. <gasps> now there's an idea. Would you like it gift wrapped? Yeah, wait a minute. I'll give you 700. You know, everyone Bring back the Gary. Bring back, Gary. Bring back Gary. Bring back Gary. Bring back Gary. Show me the money. More Gary Goldstein. Three dollars. Can I use these coupons? This ain't right. I lost my job when the plant closed. I can't afford three five hundred dollars for a doll. A Wiggly is forty nine ninety five. Sorry, pal. The price just went up. Supply and demand is a wonderful thing. Feast Whoever or Famine, it might be one of my favorite songs in the show. A wiggly. Well, if you're not going to sell me that doll, uh -oh. then I guess Evil. I'm just going to have to take it. Oh, 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 hey, hey, no. Hands off the merchandise pile. That guy's got a wiggly. He's got a wiggly. Go. I got a wiggly. If one, then I want four. I, I gave one to my nephew. No, give it to me. The choreography for this was also fucking crazy. It's mine! It's mine! It's certainly mine! It belongs to my boy! It's mine! It's mine! It's certainly mine! It's my little toy! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's certainly mine! It's mine! It's my little boy! It's mine. 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 Killing each other with dance. Let go! Let go! Let go. Let go. Just let go. Do you have a dance wish? Just die. die. Just die. die. It's time to die. You made my Christmas. And then we just pass out on the ground. I got it. I got it. You got it. They got it. Literally. It's mine. My family will love me. There's Jeff coming in with the high notes. Here's all I need and all I can want is something that I can't resist. What is this? Simple, I plan to die What's for. it gonna do? Is the last thing on my Christmas list. You're my it toy puts star. the toy into the plastic. Yeah. It bags it up with gift receipt. I never whoa, 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 whoa. ever no, 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 return no. it. No. The price I pay will be discreet. You never should settle. You never should settle. For a lifetime. For a lifetime. For a lifetime. That is handed. That is handed to you. Feast or famine. Yeah, that's my favorite song in the show. That's my favorite song in the show. 
It's either feast or famine or um, <clears throat> take me back. I would sit in rehearsal listening uh, to Take Me Back yeah, with uh, Dylan and Kim, and I would. Can I get two tickets to that new sob? Like, um, Santa Claus is going to high school. Okay, that'll be two tickets to Santa Claus is going to high school. So I think it might be feast or famine. Twenty-seven fifty. And um, <laughs> are, you, are you kidding? Thirty bucks for two tickets. That's. T- and uh, I'll give you fifteen dollars. That's as high as I'm going. Uh, uh, sir, okay, Take this me back. is not a type of place where you can haggle, sir. <laughs> like I don't set the prices. Okay? Bye, eat it. The high school kid. I'm just a high oh, school yeah? kid. Well, I'm gonna find you at school, cram you in a <gasps> locker, and fart in it. Oh no! <laughs> not the easy bake oven. Oh, it's the easy bake oven for you. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing. I'm Did you see that fucking quick change? Place, yeah. Don't I know your face? Ain't you been told not to hang around this mall? I, I'm just taking the kid to see the Santa movie. Yeah, yeah, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah. What's going on in Toy Zone? Ah, shit. You kids get out of here. James had to go from the last song, backstage, change, and then run all the Don't way around it. to the front. Doors, of one. the theater, and then come in through the other entrance. I'm sorry, Hannah. I thought I could get us in. I would have shelled out for the tickets. I'm just a little low in funds at the moment. I thought my old jalopy weren't going to make I it all the way to California. I will never throw so, uh, this wiggly in the trash. Suck a grand into it. This is the original. Look, don't tell your sister I got no dough. Uh, she'll lose respect for me. Hey. What's shaking, banana? You okay? Bad place. Black and white. Look. I know you're nervous to leave home. But you gotta trust me. It's gonna be so much better for you once you're out. (laughs) And hey, maybe once you're gone, maybe then your mom will realize, hey, I gotta do better. Wiggly, six feet. Do you trust your sister, Hannah? Uh huh. And do you believe that, uh, no matter how bad it looks right now, uh, things will get better? Not better. Bad. Badder. Much badder. The word is it's worse. Grammar. Even I know it's more bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a good sound effect. Ooh, that was some good blood. That looked great. Ooh, right to Zabina again. Boink. <laughs> I still think my punches are. You didn't even have a doll. They look silly. What a waste of time. <laughs> She's got a doll. So if, if Gary was never possessed by the doll, was I just committing murder? That was a good show. Thank you, Tom. I think that was improvised too. Thank you very much. Ethan. Wes. Thank you very much. Oh, this okay, is a great California shot. Lex. Robert does a great job. In the, de- dying in shows Maybe is not fucking someone. easy, and Robert does an amazing job here. He's dead. Yeah. We've got to get out of the mall, Tom. I am not leaving. He nailed that. Without a wiggly. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Fucking doll. I'm, gonna I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Give me that fucking doll. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> That's right. Man in the hurry kills. Kills hey, Tom. Oh, no, it's a kill. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that fucking doll. I'm in a hurry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ in heaven. It's madness in here, Gerald. Madness. What? I'm not frightened. I'm. I'm annoyed. 
Ooh. Because some asshole took Becky's my coat dog. being a symbol for her opening herself up to Tom. That's very nice. <laughs> oh my god. I also have a hair appointment later today. What are the odds? How you doing there, Linda? Because I got a big audition tomorrow. Stay back, whoever you are. I have pepper spray and I use it more than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you wanna 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 fuck with me, Miss Monroe. I was a colonel once. And How many lords in black are there? That's right here. What? How, how did you? Oh, don't you worry about that, Ellen. How do you know my name? Well, I know a whole heap oh, okay. about you. And this town. Ooh. ooh. How'd you feel? That was improvised. He added the wannas. You understand. And you, little lady. He did the same amount of wannas every you show. You are the most special person in it. I know that! <laughs> what do you want from me? Well, I want to give you everything you ever desire. You see, Linda, I know why you want those Wiggly dolls. It's the same reason. Only two of your four children are from Gerald. <clears throat> you keep looking Did Nick for ever say the man, or in the smiles who the other parents are? Little brats. If two of the four children are Gerald's. You have been cruelly denied it, Linda. Go on. Say what it is. I, I want what everybody wants. Yeah, one of the mayor. To be loved. Is that a crime? Oh, Linda, that's the type of bullshit you feed your therapist. I don't actually know who the other two are. Come on are. now. We all know that love is highly overrated. It's a two-way street. You gotta give a little of yourself. Goodbye, Sophie. Thank you for being here. Why should you give when you can get? By the way, <laughs> no, please no, no, don't forget no, no. to visit you the backer kit when Star Kid returns. If you get, get a chance. Bored. Worshipped. And I can help make that happen. I mean, my favorite Lord in Black is probably Pakotho. All you gotta do is just do what you do best. Shaw. Be a mother. Right. Shaw. Right. right. Fabulous mother. Linda, <laughs> you were chosen long ago to bring about the birth of a friendly wind of mine. All you gotta do is open your heart up to his love. What are you doing? Do you see him? 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 Yes, I fucking see him! This is Carl Mason coming to you live from New York with continuing oh, this coverage is me. of what's already being called the Black Friday from Hell. From the Mall of America to Macy's Herald Square, reports are flooding in of violent riots breaking out at retailers of all sizes. With mayors and governors pleading to the federal government for aid, speculation swirls as to whether or not President Howard Goodman will declare a national state of emergency. That was me. Can someone tell me? What the hell is happening out was there? Was I credited for as God's Carl sake, Mason? The country is coming apart at the seams. It's a goddamn uprising, is what it is. It could be anarchists, terrorists, socialists. Give me two hours, Mr. President. I'll organize a series of drone strikes against the key instigators of this revolt. No, Mr. President, these riots are not ideologically motivated. I should have had Make different no pants mistake, this for is this part. Mania and a fuck ton of it. A general would not oh, have un this may sound unpressed hard to pants. <laughs> But it seems that what these people are riding over is a, uh, a doll. A doll? Bob, are you That's serious? why the world is going to hell, is people because Obama wasn't killing president. killing each other for a, a toy? <laughs> yes, Mr. President. This toy. It's called a, uh, yeah, James uh, Tickle Me Wiggly. <laughs> no, no. This can't be happening. We beat the Nazis. And the communists. And now people uh, the TV broadcast parts were pre-recorded in this version. Weird little monster. <laughs> I think they were pre-recorded in the Guiding Light musicals too. I mean, I admit. He is cute. <laughs> and I'll come right out and say it. 
He has a fuzzy tummy. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind tickling that little belly well. <laughs> In fact, Morris, <clears throat> why don't you uh, hand him here? Why? I think there were like... I need to understand how many wiggles, wiggly, wigglies were what there. we're dealing with here. And the only way I could do that... <laughs> they like 50 made in my for the shoes? No, no, also to be no, sold? no, 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 Mr. President. Uh, I'm the Secretary of Defense. It's my job to protect the nation and you. I'll hold on to the little, uh, whippersnapper. Like hell you will. That is enough. 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 <clears throat> um, one of my political heroes has always been John F. Kennedy. Save this country from the Cuban Missile Crisis yes, by uh, keeping a cool head. That was... That is what we need now, fellas. Improvised. Cool heads. So, while you three devise a strategy, I'll hold on to the Wiggly. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Morris, I am the goddamn come, president come, of the United States of America. The music in this show America, fucking was amazing. And I order you to hand me that fucking doll! No! You're nothing more than a Harvard Law School community organizing prick! Take one step closer to my friendy wen and I'll rip your fucking throat out with my own teeth! He's not your friendy wen, he's mine! I'm gonna tickle that dog. No! He's mine! Back off or I will send a laser-guided ballistic missile to your house in Denver! You'll be scraping off what's left of your kids off the fucking pavement! Morris, that was pretty feral. Give me that cock-sucking motherfucking cock-a-doodle I, I did break once. Scraping what's left of your kids off the fucking pavement? That oh line's insane. What? Are you alright? Uh, I think I'm gonna vomit. I almost killed you, Mr. President. I, I, I don't know what came over me. I, I do. Sorry for the intrusion, Mr. President. Hope you don't mind if I let myself in. Into the Oval Office? <laughs> Who the hell are you? My name is General John McNamara of the United States Military. Yes! <laughs> Everyone's going fucking crazy. Special Unit PEIP. We call it PEEP. Yeah, Jeff's hair does look really good I've in this I've never heard of you guys. Show. Oh, we're a fairly small team. Just me and a few of my peeps. What will the peep That's joke be soon. in Nerdy Prudes? Who knows? Our department handles crises of a certain nature. Situations not unlike what we have here on this Black Friday. See, I hear a little bit of What the do you mean? Certain situations. First McNamara? Mr. President. Behind the veil of the universe. He's a little bit more. He's a little less like this. He's both ageless and foul. And these eldritch forces are rising. There's a it's just matured a little bit. One with designs on humanity far worse than any nightmare we can comprehend. And he is marshalling his power. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. Because Nick has said in previous things that humanity is going to have any hope there's a for peep survival. joke in every come with me. Hatch, in every Hatched Where? Field musical. To borrow an expression, we're stepping out of the blue. And into the black. Jeff was always really nervous about this song. Sometimes you gotta wait. But he always killed it. He always killed it. It's extremely high. Poor folk. No need to raise the stakes when you're on the wall. Stand tall. Sometimes you gotta feel your chest. Sometimes you gotta slow your breath. Sometimes you gotta step into the black and white and face the thing you dread. Sometimes you gotta stand into the fire. On up. Sometimes you gotta stand make your on up. You gotta step into the black and white and needle that thread. Cause there are monsters and there are men. There are monsters that live in your head. There are monsters that we all should dread. So join the fight and try your might. 
dressed up in the black and, and white. white. There are monsters that live in our head. There are forces in this world. So with this one, it was like as he was grabbing one. our hands, we were supposed to if be like filled with it is nothing on your phone. Pa pa like ah! patriotism. Did you see that? He just looked at us right in the face. The truly good versus the truly bad. Ha! You better learn to discern it quickly, boys. It's the only chance we have. Ha! You better align your soul with what's good and right. Join the only fight that's left and scour the black and white. For there are monsters and there are men. There are monsters ha! that live in your head. And it's the monsters who should live in Join the fight! I got goosebumps. Into the black and white. So, we're not exactly dealing with terrorists here. Not exactly. But what do you want from me? Look me in the eye now, sir. You did it. And make a solemn vow to become your best self now. I know our opponent, sir requires nothing less than your absolute best I know it's hard it's pretty good. the world is pain and distraction but there's occasions met by lesser men who took the lead it must be must be me. Never take your office lightly. Never take my office lightly. You must fill your heart. Make good with God immediately. The monsters and there are men. There are monsters that live in your head. Kurt really, really does nail this part. Join the fight uh, against the real plight. Uh, when monsters are real, you gotta forge a heart of steel to cast the darkness from light. You gotta stop out of the black and white. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! What's going to happen? I don't know. I know we're going to take a very quick intermission. If you have to go, great. This, this is going to be up on YouTube later. I will be back in about three minutes. See you really soon. We'll close out Black Friday. See you soon.
Okay, we're back. Got to keep it moving. This is a long show. All right, here we go. Let me put it back on. And we're going. Act two. Oh, my goodness. Act two is longer than act one. That does not happen very often. Um, it's an hour. <clears throat> I'm tempted to divide. I don't know how everybody would feel about dividing this up. But there is an hour... There's an hour and 15 minutes left, which would put us at 4 o'clock. Um, I might have to split it up because I have an appointment I can't miss at 3.30. Um, it's a hair thing. Um, So how, what do you think? Should we split this up and then pick it up tomorrow again with act two? Would everybody be okay with that? All I need is 124 people to say yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm the master and commander. That's not true. Um, okay, I'm gonna promo it again tomorrow. And we'll probably go live in the afternoon because I've got a big Hollywood audition uh, tomorrow <clears throat> at around one. So because it's so late and because it's another hour and 15 minutes, um, we're going to go ahead and call it. And then tomorrow we'll finish it. It's, this show, I think, might be 45 minutes longer than the guy to like musicals. Um, and it should be because of story. Uh, but yeah, act two... What time will it be in Eastern? It'll probably, I'll probably start at like three o'clock. Although maybe I'll do it in the morning. This might actually be a good warm up. Let me take a quick, 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 quick look at my calendar. Um, One second. You know what? I think I'm going to do it in the morning. Um, so I think I might go live at around 10 a.m. To, to finish it off. So... I'll see you tomorrow around 10 a.m. and I'll promo it. Um, thanks again. Act two tomorrow morning-ish, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, thanks again for being here. It's our fucking it. man. Um, That's me. But all this means is that we get to keep the fun rolling, um, and I'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I love doing these watch parties. I should make watch parties a regular thing. If only that was recommended to me long ago by my moderators. Um, let me see, uh, who is playing that I could raid? Um, do, 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 Okay. I like Ruby Heart a lot, so I'll do that. Um, all right, everyone. See you later. Take care of each other. Drink some water. And I will uh, see you all tomorrow at around 10 a.m. Pacific. Bye-bye. Wink. Thank you for following.